Alright, so here is how to update to the latest build of uh, an app on the phone, in this case Gunhead. Um, as you can see right here is the current version of the build. <clears throat> Whenever you overwrite it, it'll just show up where the last one is. Uh, so what you need to do are use these two apps down here, install us, install us and iFile. iFile will get the app the latest version of the build from Dropbox and it will stick it in a folder that the Installus can see it and then Installus will actually you have to run that to actually install the app to the desktop and here's how you do it so first you click on you touch on iFile and then I already have it bookmarked to go to all the places that you need to go so basically uh, this phone is slow, so it's going to take a minute to do everything. Uh, whatever. So you want to go down here to bookmarks. And then what you see are the three bookmarks I've set up. One for install this directory, one for the gunhead directory, which is GH, and one for trapdoor directory, which is TD, obviously. So what you want to do first is go to the gunhead directory, and that's synced to my Dropbox, so whatever is up been put up on my Dropbox will show up in the Gunhead. And now you can see all the different builds that are sitting in there. Uh, I'll clean those out later so that there won't be all this history of old whatever useless stuff in here. And you want to find the newest one which will be obviously the latest date. In this case it's build number 16. And you can see the date to it is next to it over there. Now you what you want to do is you want to highlight it and copy it. So you want to hold down on it for a second, and then this little pop-up will come and just say select. And now it's selected. Now you want to press on this little clipboard down here and say copy or link, which is the first option. So copy link. Now it's now it knows that you're going to use that link and put it somewhere else. So you hit done up it there, and now you want to go back to your bookmarks down here. And now you want to go to the install this downloads folder. So you click or press on that. Now this is all the these are all the apps that are located in a place where they can be seen to be installed by the other program. Um, I already have it pasted in there, but what you would do is you would hold down on the background, I think, and then you hit paste. And then it's gonna obviously it's uh since it's already there, it's just going to overwrite it, but it will it will just pop it in over there. And now you're done with the iFile program. So after it's after you see that it shows up in this directory, then you can just hit the home button on the bottom of the phone down there to go back to your desktop. Now you want to go to install this app, the little green arrow. And then that takes a moment to boot. You want to press downloads, and that'll go over to the download directory. And now you can see everything that's been dropped into that install this download directory. Here's build number 16, which is what we just put in there. So you just touch on that and say install, and then you can see it's just uh, it's just doing that. It'll take a moment, especially as the file gets bigger. It'll take a lot longer to do all this stuff. Right now it's I don't even know if it's more than a meg or so, so it's pretty quick. Yeah, it's 1.11 megs, so it's pretty tiny. Obviously, when we start putting in uh, a lot more graphic assets, and especially the sound files, it'll get much larger. And then it says it's installed, and then it usually takes about a minute before it will let you close out of here. But I uh, yeah, just hit the home button, the, the home button on the phone, and then it should go back to the desktop. And then when you click... Or <laughs> stop saying that. You press on the icon, then the game runs, and there you go. Um, as for the latest builds of the game, uh, this is pretty much, you know, the you know the the drill with this, <laughs> pulling the run around. So up here, this is a uh, just temporarily while we're implementing the weapons. How it works is that. You can touch up in this little blue box, and that will change your weapon. So, 
pressing any of these has no effect, but that's where the other weapon indicators will be. But for now, touching the blue button will change whatever your current weapon is, so you can cycle through all of them to see what they are. The only difference is the uh, that first one, the little three lines over there, that represents to go back to the normal shot. So if you press on that, uh, it should. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, yeah, so now it's just shooting the normal shot again. So basically you're only going to cycle through all the weapons except for the normal shot. And you have to press on the normal icon to go back to the normal shot. And that's it.